Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Let's leave aside Christianity and historical examples for a second. All night you guys have been grappling with issues like morality and, you know, what is right, what is wrong, and meaning. But my question is simply, why are you so afraid of subjective moral reasoning? I mean, do you think that we're all just going to start raping and pillaging just because we don't have a book to tell us what to do? I mean, are you afraid of that? Like, I'm not, because that's not going to happen. And that, yeah, Nazis were bad, but there were Christian Nazis and there were atheist Nazis. So I don't see... What are you so afraid of? Do you lock your door at night? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> sure. <laughs> You know, I hear what you're saying. It sounds very cavalier, though. My goodness. If we weren't afraid of all of this, we would not be in a national debt. The Ch billions China is secular. Uh, uh, sorry? China is secular. Sorry? China is secular. That's right. What about, what does that I mean? I mean, they're not raping and pillaging, and neither are we. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. Have you read what happened during the Red Guards Rebellion? Have you read what happened during the Boxer Rebellion? Do you know who has killed more people in the 20th century than China and Russia? 60 million apiece? Wow. It makes the Holocaust seem tame. The 20th century became the bloodiest century in history. And the reason it became the bloodiest century in history I can see is you could just see the weapons of our warfare were piling up and there was no guiding principle to take us anywhere. Now, in a perfect world, yes, we don't need to be afraid. Have you seen what happens in our courts of law where people supposedly love each other and all that comes about in hate and vitriol and damage? I don't think the question is fairly stated as what have you, are you afraid of. I'm just saying it is basically unlivable. That's, I didn't conclude that. An atheist like Jean-Paul Sartre concluded it. We killed more people in the 20th century than the previous 19 put together. And your question is uh, what are we afraid of? The fact of the matter is if morality is purely subjective, then you have absolutely nothing from stopping anybody for being a subjective moralist to choose to just zing one through your forehead and say, that's my answer. You know, how do you, how do you stop that? Obviously, you don't believe that's the way it should be. No, neither do I. So it's not a case of what am I afraid of. It's a case of the fact that if you're willing to say to me that uh, moral reasoning can be purely subjective, I just say to you, look out, you ain't seen nothing yet if everybody believed what you did. Do you know, uh, funny, interesting, when I was in, in the Soviet Union, former Soviet Union, Stalin eliminated 15 million of his own people. 15 million of his own people. And at the center for geopolitical strategy, you know, they didn't want to even name his name and so on. His daughter Svetlana, made the comment, it is quoted both by Malcolm Muggeridge in his writings and by historian Paul Johnson in modern times. Svetlana was standing by the bedside of her father before he died. She said the last thing he did was clench his fist over the heavens one more time, put his head back on the pillow, and he was gone. This is his daughter raising the question, whatever got into my father to have that kind of hatred and hostility? And when 15 million were killed of his own people, it is interesting that the faculty members and the general who chatted with me there, my wife will tell you, sat around the table with tears in his eyes when he watched what had been done to his own country by his own leadership. So subjective morality would be very good if we all wanted to be nice people and live around each other without any uh, fear of each other. But the reason you lock your doors and the reason we have our police and the reason we have our military and the reason we have our law courts is because when subjective morality becomes totally subjectivized, this is what happens in society. So it's a great idea, but I hope nobody absorbs it. Thank you. We go on to the next one there. Thank you.